hello hello and welcome welcome back to my channel i'm sorry you caught me with look at that mm -hmm. it is that time of year candy corn smells so good and tastes even better okay so this is package that came from angel dream crafts kim And all I did was open this side. I thought, let's be surprised together with the post and everything the way it was. This came late. So, um, ooh. <gasps> Look at this, guys. Oh, oh my goodness. I see pearls. I see. So many beautiful, oh my goodness, look at this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I remember, I know I ordered some book pages, this is for the months of um, November and December, I don't even know how to do this. Should I just take it all out? Should I take it out one at a time? Well, let's take it all out because as much as we love this sound, and I know we all do, it can get annoying. So really quick, let's just get rid of that. And oh, let's just begin. Oh my gosh, guys. I will have all the information for Kim's shop. Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And all the um, other design team members. So that you can go and see what they got what they have um <clears throat> what they had gotten in the mail and what they'll be working with November and December. Also, Kim has let us know that she is getting new items in her shop all the time. So you might want to go over and have a look. Um, <clears throat> prices are fantastic and the inventory goes fairly quickly. So uh, make sure that you go and check. Look at this. <gasps> look at these. They're like little nuggets of pearls. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love those. There are two, four, six, there's eight of them total. And then these, I call these cornichons. I don't know, I know it's French. I don't know if I um, am even correctly spelling or pronouncing those, but look at how pretty those are. I think I did request these. I'm not positive, um, but they each one of them, they're all roses, and aren't they beautiful? And these just are so pretty. And they have, oh my goodness, there's little rhinestones all around the uh, little center there. The little, they look like Christmas ornaments is what they look like. And I don't know if the light is catching. Let's see if I can, if you can see all around the base there, there's um, little gems that pick up a sparkle. How beautiful. Five of these cornichons. I'm sitting there looking at this and, and my brain is going, okay, what are you going to create? What is going to be? There will probably be only one um, creation for November. Typically, we do two a month. And I probably, Kim said it would be all right to do two projects or to just do one project. I'm going to try to do do two, but um, we'll see what time has in store. 
because this is Ooh, this is a uh, holiday month. Look at the stamps. I do remember requesting the stamps. And so let's show these. But so many times we wonder, where can you find really great stamps? Well, look at Kim's got them. Look at these. Ooh, I can remember that. That's just totally giving away my age, but I can remember that Lincoln four cent stamp. Ooh, look, Christmas, is it Christmas tree? I think so. The United States, yes it is. It's a Christmas stamp from 1963. How cool is that? There's John F. Kennedy. Look at how neat these are. Look at that. I can remember this stamp as well. Oh, look at this. 1932. I'm happy to say I can't remember that one. <laughs> but how cute is that? It looks like it's in C. No, that's not. No, I was going to say that. Never mind. How pretty are these? What fun to use these stamps. So, yeah, Kim's got stamps. She's got paper. She's got fabric. Obviously, lace. So, um, look at that. That's two cents. Philippines. Really, really cute. And then bling. So before I get to the bling, I have gotten bling, I think, from Hobby Lobby before. And this bling is totally different. This feels so nice. And look at the colors. I hope my light is picking the colors up because I can see all the colors of the rainbow in this. And I know the bling I've gotten from Hobby Lobby is plastic, and this does not feel like plastic at all. And look at, just look at, it's iridescent. That is going to be fun to play with. Love that. And it looks like there's a yard of this. Just look at the colors in my hand. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that. Really, really pretty. So we'll be doing something fun with that. That might be all the little bags. So then let's see these treasures. Oh. Look at, that's the back side. It's not quite as shiny as the front, but you could use either side if you were doing a project where you didn't want the shine. Look at what pretty, pretty lace. This can be cut into individual pieces. Um, you could use as much as you want. It kind of feels like a Venice lace. I'm not positive that I would call it a Venice lace. It feels like that has that look of Venice lace and it's sturdy. It's soft, but it's it's strong, if that makes any sense. Really beautiful. Then we've got some cotton here. This feels like it's old. It has a look and feel of, the, of being a vintage lace. Look at how pretty it is, it's cotton. It doesn't appear to have a right or wrong side. That is really, really nice. Would be pretty to use this way. You could, if you wanted to take the time, weave a ribbon through there. And how beautiful is that? So there's a yard of that. And then there's a yard of this. This looks totally handmade. Hopefully, maybe you can see it better that way. Look at that. It's like somebody sat there with their spindles and tatted this or crocheted it. I think it's crocheted. 
yeah, look at that. Oh, lovely. That is so pretty. And more doilies. You can never go wrong with doilies. Look at this one. It's all layered like a flower. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how would you do that? You know, this one, if you puff this up, this has to be a focal point. I could never cover this up. Not ever. The only thing I could ever do is put something maybe in the center, like one of those cornichons. Look at how pretty that is, though. Wouldn't that be pretty on a journal page or a cover? Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And then her doilies, the doilies in her shop, there's... um all different kinds and sizes and shapes. So this one is is a, a cream colored. And I swear they're all handmade. They all feel like they're handmade. They're not off of a machine. If you were to tell me these were from a machine, I would just be shocked. Because they don't they don't feel like that. Look at how pretty this one is. Okay, these I think are all the same pattern. These four. Beautiful, beautiful colors. The pattern on these all look the same. Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's this one here. So, so pretty. I can remember years and years and years ago when I used to, I taught myself to crochet. I don't know if I ever told you this. I Because I'm, I'm left-handed, I had it, all the instructions that I ever could find in the books were right-handed, so I had to hold a mirror up to reverse it, and I taught myself. And now I couldn't even, I couldn't, wouldn't even know where to start now. It's really kind of sad. You learn a craft, and then you, it's it's like learning a language and never using it. You just tend to forget. This is pretty. So far, what I like about all these trims is you don't have to have, they don't have to be layered on top of something or have something layered on top of them. They can stand alone, totally stand alone. Beautiful. Can you see that? Look at how pretty that is. Really, really pretty. Ooh, love this. Look at that. This is another one that you could go ahead and weave like a ribbon or thread through if you wanted to um, gather it up or leave it plain like this. Or even if you wanted to just fold this. Let's see if this would work. Fold this and layer it. Look at how pretty that is. Layered like that really really pretty I just would probably take this to the iron if I wanted to uh, layer it really beautiful I know uh, Karen Billinger she did a her video is up of her laces so you might want to uh, check it make sure you check everybody out let's keep this Let's see what's under here. Look at this applique. And once again, ooh, look at the netting. You see that? I think this might be vintage for sure. But this can be cut. So if you just wanted to use this piece or this piece. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And look at this one. Oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. I wonder, my head, ooh, here's another little packet. My head is kind of thinking about uh, pouches. I wonder. My brain, it should be a surprise, so I'm putting the word pouch out there, but I don't know. Look at rhinestones and pearls. Oh, I'm going to have to go get some more of this. This is absolutely incredible. 
Look at it. It's soft. It feels like it's been washed a hundred times. It feels like it could have been off an old wedding dress, and yet it might be new. I don't know, but you can see hand stitching. Don't you love that? Look at that. Hand stitching of the sequins, I think. So I bet this is vintage. Oh, Kim, this is just incredible. Look at the pearls. And the pearls, once again, they're not glued on. You can see the rivets. So the quality in Kim's shop, too, is it's outstanding. This is lovely. Every now and then when you're working on a project, it's nice to have something wide. And my guess is this is probably four inches let's see three and a half four inches four yeah just a little over just like four inches and an eighth really beautiful sometimes i just find that i need lace like that and it's soft and pliable and then here is a nice doily with good weight to it Look at this, all crocheted. This would be really, really pretty on the cover of a book. Look at how nice that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking, I think I would rather do that than cut this up. Um, it's got a really good thickness to it. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure that this thread is cotton. It feels like cotton. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Here we go, look at this. Okay, this almost is, I wanted to say at first a dresser scarf. I wonder if this was an armchair um, doily, look at the sheen, the shine. Look at that. I couldn't cut this either. So um, we're going to have to find something special to do with this one. Look at those flowers. Ooh, and they just feel so soft. And the leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this piece. Oh my gosh, look at that. Using this as a whole, look at how incredibly gorgeous this is. If you wanted to, you could in the center here put little gems or buttons. If you are, are into any kind of embroidery or ribbon embroidery, this would be really fun to do. Or cut each piece out individually and look at how much use just out of this. How cool is that? But here, look at, look at all of these flowers. That, is, that intrigues me right here. I think that is really pretty. But look at the possibilities if you wanted to cut all of this individually. Look at this. Oh, really, really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. And here is fabric. I'm pretty sure that I remember seeing this fabric and thinking to myself, what a beautiful journal cover this would make. And I'm thinking around um, January time frame, Valentine's. How pretty with uh, a graphic 45 paper, Valentine paper. Wouldn't that be so, so beautiful? Yeah, I think we will do a journal cover out of this. So I might change my mind, but I'm thinking a journal cover. And then look at this trim. 
definitely has a back. This is the back. I can tell just because of this up here. Oh, this is, this is really, really nice. It's soft. Look at the sheen. Look at that. Look at how that just stands out. Oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. Now, okay, here's the papers. I do remember I ordered papers. This is French. I think she's she had French, and I think she had Spanish. Uh, this is all, I may have gotten all French. I know this is French. When you look at a bonbon, you know that's French. I don't remember if I got any Spanish. I may have gotten all, yeah, they're all French. How cool is that French dictionary or um, translation papers? So that is going to be so fun to play with. Then let's look at this. Ooh, snowflakes. And you know, snowflakes, that's not just a winter. Um, you usually only see snowflakes in the winter, but I am looking at these and thinking, let's see if I can get into this. There we go. And I am thinking I uh, would put this in a journal. Maybe, let's see. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay, guys, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I probably would use this winter, Christmas. I think, yeah, they're metal. Do you see that? They, they have a weight to them. Aren't they pretty? Let's see them next to, can I put it next to, can you see it? Can you see them glisten? Sparkle, there are three of them, or are there four? Four of them. These are beautiful. Are they all the same? Let's see. No, different sizes. Look at that. Okay, too small and too large. Okay, we're going to have to do something with this. I was not going to do... Well, I am going to do some little ornaments, so um, journal ornaments. So we'll see. I might pull off a couple more Christmas things. Um, or maybe winter pouches. How beautiful would that be that could hold something really sweet inside, whether it be a journal or love letters. Those are gorgeous. Now let's look at this. I kind of saved this for last. Oh my gosh, you know what? I have no words. This is so beautiful. Look at the look at it. This is all stitched on. I have no words for this. This is just beyond. That is gorgeous, and I love the way that it um, frays. This is like a satin, backed on a satin over the top and then there oh my gosh this also has sequins and pearls look at the work look at this guys oh i'm sitting here thinking can i do this justice it is so just beyond I'm going to have to, this makes me, I'm going to go on the computer and go into Kim's shop and see what I'm missing because this is outstanding. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Sequins, pearls on top of sequins. Can you see the sheen? so excited. I just wish I knew what, what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. I am in love. So pretty. 
I even love the netting. Look at that applique work or embroidery work. It's an embroidery work, I think. And here's another piece. This. Here's some more. Um, so many pearls on this piece here. Look at all the hand stitching. <gasps> Look at this. Look at all the pearls and sequins. That's where you're getting that shimmer. This is like Christmas, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Kim. Thank you. There's not enough thank yous for everything that you sent me. Oh my goodness. So incredibly beautiful. I'm so excited. The, um, the uh, snowflakes, all these gorgeous laces and the doilies. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so excited to play with all of this. I hope that you just enjoyed my share here and that you yourself got excited. Even if you don't work with lace, take a just take a look at the shop and see if there isn't some charms or paper products or fabric. Um, just anything. I think there's also napkins. See if you don't find something over there that you love or maybe you know someone else that might love any of this to work with. And I will catch you in the next video. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Hugs, guys. Bye.